Welcome, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it may represent a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, in love and in light. Some of you may have noticed there is now a join button, okay, um, on my channel. I have created a monthly membership. Uh, for $4.99 a month, you can now have access to exclusive monthly Zodiac readings. Every month on the 1st, I'm going to be uploading 12 Zodiac readings. They'll be a little bit more extensive. Um, there'll be one for each sign, as well as any additional bonus videos I'm able to put out, I will put there as well. This week over on Instagram, you guys chose the Dark Grim Grimoire Tarot for Fire Signs. So that's what we're going to be using today. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. We have the Lovers, King of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Swords. We have the Four of Chalices and the Temperance card. We have the Tower, the Knight of Chalices. The Ten of Chalices, the Justice card, and the Ten of Pentacles with the Wheel, okay? Under the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is about an opportunity, a new offer. This person, I want to want to say, sending an olive branch is what's coming to me. This person um, compromising something. We have the Garden. Yeah, you could be talking to this person outside, growing something, the journal. Could we confide in this person? Could we confide in you about something? Finally opening their heart to you, telling them what they've been thinking. Yeah, we have the ship. This could be about travel. We have the letter here. So some of them actually may have actually physically written you a letter or a text message or something expressing something. I kind of feel like there's just energy like wanting to meet with you to kind of express some things they've had on their chest for some time. It's about traveling to you, working on something. All right, so in your energy, we have the Magician. This is Gemini, Virgo energy. Sometimes this can also be Scorpio as well. But the Magician is somebody who can manifest and create something. You have kind of the collective wisdom now. Like, you know how to positively manifest things. You're trying to be very optimistic about the future here. It's like, you know, I say this all the time. You know, what you think, you feel, you speak, you say, you fear, you pray for. You you know, you're manifesting that energy. If you're constantly down on yourself, you're going to neg manifest po negative things. It's like you finally realize this, this positive mindset, like this internal power that you have to kind of create change to make things happen for yourself. We have the lovers here. Again, strong Gemini energy in this reading, as well as the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so you feel this very intense connection to this person. I feel like you're being watched, however. Okay, there could be like a manipulative person involved here with that magician card. Uh, with the lovers here, I mean, I'm kind of seeing these two people kind of on the outskirts of town. They feel like nobody's watching them, okay? But look at how there's somebody in the background. And now, for those of you where this is not a secret relationship, not a private relationship, a private relationship is when everybody knows the two of you are together, but nobody knows your business. A secret relationship is where nobody knows you're together and nobody has any idea what's going on in your business, okay? Regardless of what the situation is, whether it's a secret relationship or this is a public relationship. There's somebody here that maybe unbeknown to the two of you does not, maybe they're attracted to your person or they want to come after you. There's someone here who wants to break two of you up who's catching on to this connection. If you guys work together, I mean, I feel like the way that you guys kind of flirt, talk to each other, other people are taking notice of this, okay? This, like I said, some, some of you, this person could be older than you, this person could be your boss, this person could be in a higher level of commitment here, okay? The King of Pentacles is somebody who wants stability, but they may already have it. Male or female, King of Pentacles. You could be in a higher level of commitment. We have the Nine of Wands here and the Eight of Swords. So I do feel like there's kind of like this defensive energy about this. Like you're really in your head about how you're going to protect this connection or keep people out of it. Because I do feel like there are people who just kind of want to be in your business. And I feel like you're at a point in your life where neither one of you really want that. You want to protect this connection, Nine of Wands, kind of like a defensive energy. It's fire energy. You have the Eight of Swords, so you're like really in your head, almost feel trapped in a situation or like you can't seem to break out of this. You Maybe you feel like other people seem to have some kind of control or say over this relationship. Uh, that's for some of you, not for all of you. You could feel like you're being watched under a microscope. 
Maybe the two of you actually can't be together because there's someone here watching, interfering. A manipulative energy it could be on your side or there. It's going to be both of you. We have the Four of Chalices here in the Temperance card, Sagittarian energy. You're feeling disappointed because you can't be with this person right now. There is something that kind of came between the two of you and separated you. Some of you, it could be distance. Like maybe this person travels for work or they have some kind of responsibility to take care of. They could have a family, okay? Some of them, like say, people could be watching and you're, t you're picking up on this. It's like you have to kind of cool the connection or kind of calm things down, wait for another opportunity to be together. But there will be that opportunity for that. There's going to be an opportunity to kind of fix the situation. It's going to take some time, though. Patience. Sagittarian energy. Healing. Now, in their energy, the three of air. This affects them more than you know. I feel like for a lot of you, you don't even realize how hurt this person is over this separation or this emotional, physical distance. Whatever this pertains to be. This person's heartbroken here. We have the Tower, Scorpio energy, and the Knight of Cups. That is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person feels like... When they think about this connection, it was very unexpected. Whatever tore the two of you apart or is keeping you from really spending time together, I mean, it could even be COVID. It could be distance from work or whatever the situation pertains to be. It was unexpected. They want to come in here. They're feeling very emotional in regards to you. They want to communicate their feelings. Um, some of them actually could be drinking, okay? They're feeling really down. They're really hurt, heartbroken here. We have the Ten of Chalices and the Justice card, Libra Energy, more strong water. Okay, this person, they want to make things right. They want to fix the situation with you. They're trying to figure out how they're going to do this. They, I mean, they see you as Ten of Cups. So you actually could have been married to this person in the past. Maybe you have a family with them. Um, whatever this is, it's like, it's a, it's a need to come together. They see things very clear. They want to move forward to you. They want to make things balanced. This could be in uh, relation to a legal situation for some of you. Okay, somebody here could be a Libra. There could be like a legal situation, like someone could be in the military, they're in like a work contract, someone could be married, maybe they need to consult like a lawyer or something. This could be, you know, an H consulting HR to figure out, you know, how the two of you can be together publicly without having to hide this relationship or, you know, so that there can be recognition about this connection. It doesn't have to be separate. You don't have to feel so alone all the time apart from each other. Because both of you are hurting here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel. I mean, this person wants long-term here. They want a commitment towards Virgo Capricorn. They feel like you are a part of their destiny. They feel like you're their fate. I mean, this person, Sagittarius, i got to be honest with you. I think it's one of the best readings you've had so far. I mean, look, whatever the obstacle is, this person truly wants this connection. I mean, they, they see you as somebody they could be committed to. I mean, they see long-term investments here with you. They see having a family, stability. So you could have financial ties to, to, to something, or they could. That could be a part of why this connection is separate right now. But they feel like it's only a matter of time for the two of you to come together. They want to work together on this. I feel like there's a, a letter or a message or something. Could be They could be coming to your house. I mean, they could be asking to see you, coming to travel to you. Okay, with letter here, they could be writing a physical letter for some of you. Some of you, I'm, I'm seeing somebody like passing love notes or kind of like writing things that you're going to find, like sticky notes or something. That could be specific. But this could also be a text message. They want to say it just right, okay? They want to say this just right to you. They could even be like, you could even see them like writing something out and then erasing it, okay? They they want to come, they want to spend time with you. And I'm seeing like them asking you to go to like your favorite spot, your favorite park, something like that, somewhere outdoors, okay? They want to spend time with you. They want to see you outside of work, outside of the environment, in a different light. They want to see you. They want to communicate their feelings. Things they've been harboring for some time that they have not been telling you. With journal here, this is like hidden feelings. Things they haven't verbally expressed to you. They want to move forward with you. They're trying to figure out how to do this. Someone that you actually could be at a physical or emotional distance right now. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is about an offer being made. Knave of Swords, that is Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the Ace of Wands here. This is an absolutely beautiful energy. This person's watching you. They're watching you to figure out when it's going to be their window of opportunity to come towards you and tell you that they want a beginning here with you. They want a fresh start with you. Okay? They've been watching you. Trying to get information. Feeling very curious about you. Wonder what you're up to. They feel very passionately about you. They want to unlock this. Okay? They want to push forward. You know, two of cups. They want to come together, express their emotions to you. We have the five of earth. They're missing you. They're thinking a lot about you, heavily about you. They're trapped in their head, trapped in their thoughts with the eight of swords. They're trapped in their thoughts about you. Okay, this person. Oh, wow. This honestly, I mean, there's a lot of pain here. There's obviously a big obstacle, but honestly, I feel like this is one of the best readings you guys have had in a while. This person wants to express their feelings to you. They've been holding back for some time, but they have made this decision to kind of be open to you. 
So if they're if they're inviting you along somewhere or asking to spend time with you, at least hear the person out because they have a lot to get off their chest and they want to come clean about their feelings. All right, so Sagittarius, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.